Hello, this is Julie Hogue, and I am coming at you with vegetarians and meat lovers split table recipes. I'm a blogger, food blogger, and family lifestyle blogger. One of the things I love to blog about is food and creating recipes. So I created my cookbook, One Dish, Two Diets, which is recipes for families that have a split table where some people eat vegetarian and some people eat meat. So that is the premise for my cookbook and the premise for this podcast. Working on a quiche cookbook right now. That's going to be out soon. It has some of these hybrid recipes in there too. So this podcast episode is all about using cauliflower in Mexican type dishes. There are some great ways, some easy ways that you can use cauliflower in Mexican type meals. Now I'm talking tacos today. Tacos are a great meal for a hybrid dish, a hybrid meal when you have vegetarians and meat eaters because everyone builds their own taco, right? Everybody puts in what they want. So it's one of those meals that works extraordinarily well for feeding two different types of diets. And what I love to do when making tacos, my family eats either, you know, ground beef or chicken, ground chicken. What I love to do is to make Mexican roasted cauliflower so that I can have some meatless tacos. And what's so great about that is it really adds a lot of yummy flavor. You know, I've made tacos where I don't add anything, but you know, the lettuce, the cheese, the salsa, the tomatoes and the onions, jalapenos, sour cream. But if you add in something like this, it's just, it's heartier. It's like a, adds more flavor to your taco. And so it just really adds a lot of flavor and health and a lot of fiber. You know, everybody's trying to eat more cauliflower, right? And a lot of people don't like the flavor of cauliflower. (laughs) I actually like the taste of cauliflower. I'm kind of strange, but I really like it when it's flavored for tacos. So I'm going to talk about that recipe. And then so basically when you're making tacos and you're trying to feed vegetarians and meat eaters, simply just also make this cauliflower that you can add to your tacos. Everyone's trying to eat cauliflower, right? And well, for a good reason. And it can be a little difficult to eat and it can get a little boring, right? It can get a little boring. So if you mix it with something like this recipe with the tacos, seasonings and whatnot, it just really is a new way to eat cauliflower and it's quite yummy. If you look at it from a distance, it kind of even looks like meat a little bit. (laughs) It looks kind of golden, kind of meat-like if you didn't, especially if you can't see very good, right? (laughs) You know, it just kind of looks a little bit like meat. It's just something extra to add in there. And it's a really easy recipe to make. It just makes a hearty taco for the vegetarian because otherwise their taco is kind of meager and there isn't a lot of chunk there, you know? It's not a lot of substance. This Mexican roasted cauliflower vegetarian taco meat, (laughs) I'm going to call it meat, vegetarian meat for the tacos, meaning it's just the filling for the taco, could be eaten in a crunchy taco shell or in a soft tortilla. Recently, I've seen the tortilla bowls on the market, and this is a great new product we enjoy at my house. I found them at Walmart. I personally love tortillas, so I eat it in a tortilla when I make this meal. I create an entire spread of options when I'm setting out a taco bar for my family. A taco is just a big favorite at my house with my three boys. I do shredded lettuce, shredded cheese, onions, tomatoes, jalapenos, sour cream, tortillas, crunchy taco shells, tortilla chips, black beans, and Mexican roasted cauliflower, of course. That's what we're talking about. Even my husband, who does not like cauliflower, actually likes this recipe too. So that tells you something. He does not, he does not enjoy the cauliflower, but he will eat this. It makes a really pretty looking taco too. If you want to talk about a pretty food, food can be pretty. You want it to be attractive, right? There are other ways to use this recipe as well. And it's really great on a salad, like a topping for a salad, a lettuce salad, or mixed in with pasta. It could be easily mixed into Spanish rice or rice pilaf creating a tasty vegetarian meal by adding in some black beans, corn, onion, and tomatoes with the rice and cauliflower. So yummy. The roasted cauliflower could also be eaten alone as a side dish if desired. However, I love the flavor of it in a tortilla with salsa, shredded cheese, sour cream, and jalapenos. 
you can make this hybrid taco meal by adding in a bowl of taco meat to the topping spread for the meat eater. So you could have, you know, your bowl of cauliflower, you could have your bowl of ground beef, and you could have a bowl of chicken, and everybody can make what they want. <laughs> in my house, they often like to have uh, meat, meaning ground beef and chicken. They like to have both. Okay, how do you make it? I will put the ingredients down in the podcast notes too, so that you could easily write it down if you wanted to. And so basically you take one fourth cup taco seasoning and one third cup olive oil, one teaspoon onion powder, one tablespoon cayenne pepper sauce, one teaspoon seasoned salt, and one cauliflower, like the whole head. You take the whole head of cauliflower and you cut it into small bite-sized florets. And so you're going to spread this in a pan. So here's the instructions. So you're going to mix the taco seasoning packet, one third cup olive oil, one tablespoon cayenne pepper sauce, one teaspoon seasoned salt, and one teaspoon onion pepper, and you're going to stir well. And you're going to sit there and cut up the cauliflower head into bite-sized florets. It can kind of kind of be messy cutting up cauliflower. That's one thing I do not like about it. It's so crumbly, like when you're cutting it up. So, you know, you got to be prepared for a mess, but whatever. You get over it, you clean it up, life goes on. But it is messy. <laughs> I just get like the crumbles of cauliflower like all over the place when I do this. Then you're going to stir season the seasoning and oil mixture, and you're going to pour it over the cauliflower florets in a large bowl. You're going to stir well to coat them all, coat all the cauliflower, and then you're going to spread them across a cookie sheet sprayed with cooking spray. I usually use like the olive oil. I'm really a fan of the olive oil type products. They're just much more healthy for you. And then you roast it at 350 degrees for about an hour. You know, all ovens are going to cook differently. So adjust this time to fit your own oven. But usually I stir the cauliflower around halfway through the cooking time. And then I broil to desired crispness. That's a hard word to say. Crispness. <laughs> Sounds like Christmas. Crispness for five to 10 minutes. And then it is ready to serve. I usually serve it warm. Um, I have eaten it cold or cool. It's not bad that way either. But, you know, most foods are like better warm, right? They just taste better. So whether you're a vegetarian for health reasons, ethical reasons, or simply to add more vegetables to your diet, this is a great addition. And, you know, it could be added to meat too. Like if you have a meat taco to just add the cauliflower in too. I mean, it's another great way to get cauliflower. And with all the seasonings, it really doesn't taste like the regular cauliflower taste. It just tastes so much better and it's yummy and it's really, really good. <laughs> you can't go wrong with it. It's just, it's a delicious taste and it's really fun to make. It's a it's a fun addition to tacos. I mean, taco night can be spiced up or made more even more healthy with this. And you can get your cauliflower in a way that you actually enjoy. Okay, now we're going to talk about another cauliflower recipe. So another great way to eat cauliflower is in a cauliflower cheese bake with salsa con queso. This is a super easy recipe. I mean, literally, it's like two ingredients. And it's so easy. And, you know, everybody loves the salsa con queso with chips. And, but the flavor is just so yummy. But mix it with cauliflower. This is an interesting recipe that I developed that is another yummy way to eat cauliflower that helps the cauliflower not taste like cauliflower. <laughs> There's a lot of people who do not like cauliflower. And again, my husband is one of them. And he likes this recipe too, because it doesn't really taste like cauliflower. It tastes like something yummy. It tastes like the salsa con queso. So basically, what are you going to need? You're going to need one head of cauliflower, one 15 ounce jar of salsa con queso dip, and about one tablespoon water, which is actually optional. And then you're going to need a baking dish that also has a lid. It's a really, really super easy prep. It's so easy. It's like ridiculously easy. So wash and cut the stem off and the leaves off of the cauliflower head. Wash it, dry it. And then you can add one tablespoon of water to the baking dish if you want. You don't have to. I haven't done it every time. Place the cauliflower head in the baking dish and pour the salsa con queso dip over the cauliflower head to fully coat it. 
Cover the baking dish and cook at 400 degrees for one hour, spooning cheese over the cauliflower head halfway through to baste. So cut into slices and drizzle with a salsa con queso dip from the baking dish and serve. I mean, that's like literally it. And it's really golden looking color and it's just really yummy and it's super easy. I mean, what a great way to eat cauliflower, right? <laughs> it's a great side dish for lunch or dinner or even a party, a holiday meal even. Even kids tend to like this cauliflower recipe because of the dip, the cheesy queso dip flavor that comes from it. So if you don't like cauliflower, this is a way to go. It's really beyond scrumptious. It's really good. And it works great alongside a grilled meat entree or as part of a vegetarian meal. As a vegetarian, I could probably eat the whole head by myself <laughs> as a main dish. See, I really like it. And I think you will too. It's a great way to consume the healthy veggie of cauliflower. Salsa con queso just makes a delicious and convenient cheese sauce. It's already prepared. It's easy. You know, I often like easy meals, easy recipes because I'm busy. And I, I do love to cook gourmet, but sometimes I just don't have the time. I love the little bit of spiciness from the salsa and the prepared cheese sauce. Salsa con queso is a favorite dip in my house. So when I used it as a cheese sauce topping on this vegetable side dish, it was a huge hit. Putting cheese on a veggie is always delicious, right? <laughs> I'm thinking broccoli too. It's really good on broccoli as well. You got to think outside the box sometimes, right? Like another thing I've done is add mushrooms to this recipe and if you add a carton of fresh sliced mushrooms to this dish, it's just really good and adds even more flavor. Mushrooms are actually really healthy for you. I did not realize this. I recently found this out. But it makes it very delicious and easy. The other way I really like this recipe is to slice it up and cut it up and put it over pasta. And then you could even take some of the cheese sauce from the pan and pour that across your pasta as well. That makes a really good dish. So this recipe is also on my website, as is the Mexican one that I just previously talked about. So you can always check that out. But I am going to put down in the podcast notes both recipes so that you could easily write it down. And I'm hoping you're enjoying my podcast. This is a really fun thing that I'm doing. And I'm going to be having all kinds of recipes. I'll probably try to find some guests to talk about food and talk about all different ways to cook for a family that is vegetarian and meat eaters, meat lovers even. <laughs> I hope you have an amazing day, and I want to thank you for listening to this episode. Come on back and listen to me again, follow my podcast, and give me a review. I would love to hear your thoughts. Check out my website at juliehogwriter.com and my book, One Dish, Two Diets, on Amazon, and ebook and paperback and audiobook. And my new book that I'm working on, I have the title for this one is American Midwest Cooking Quiches. So this is a quiche cookbook, and I'm going to have a bonus recipe in there that's not a quiche recipe, but it's going to be all these quiche recipes. So watch for that coming out soon. I hope you have an amazing day, and thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye now. Bye.